everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that I've been kind of missing in action. Um, life kind of got crazy there for a minute, and um, schoolwork pretty much consumed my life. But I am back, and today I have this St. Patrick's Day look for you with the green eyes and the gold inner lid. Um, so to start off this look, I'm going to be using this Simple Pleasures Big Fat Palette. And um, this isn't like a good quality palette by any means, um, just because it, it's very bulky and it has a lot of colors that I don't really wear day-to-day -day basis, but it does have a lot of greens, and I don't have a lot of other greens um, otherwise, so that's why I'm using this. So I'm going to start off with the transition shade, and I'm going to go in with kind of this peachy color. I feel like peachy and greens kind of complement each other well, and I'm just going to start working that into the crease. Now I'm just going to go in with a browner shade, and let's go with that one right there. It's really light on camera, but it's actually kind of dark. And I'm just going to start working this in the outer V area of the eye. Because the more shadows we get packed on the eyelid, the smoother sh shadows are going to go on on top of that. So. We really want the green to go on really smooth, so that's why we're adding so much of the base colors. And I'm not really, fo I mean, I'm not really trying to be perfect with this. I'm just trying to get it on there because we can always go back in, blend, and really it's going to be underneath the shadows, the green shadows, so it's not going to be a big deal. I'm actually going to go on with this fat, flat definer brush and pick up one of the green shadow right here um, for an all over eyelid color. I just kind of sat down and I'm just designing this look as I go, so we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So I'm going to go in with just a little crease brush, I guess you would call it, and I'm going to pick up some of these, like, St. Patty's Day legit green colors, and I'm going to focus that more on the outer part of the eye. And I'm just kind of pushing it at first because I don't want to start sweeping and then all the product will fall down. So I'm just getting it on there first and then you can blend it. It's going to look a little weird at first, but it'll be okay. So I'm going to go on with just an even smaller crease brush and pick up some of this dark green, that's one of the darker ones in this palette. And of course, I'm going to stick that on the very outer corner. Just to finish working up with the greens, I'm going to go ahead and apply the little green under my eye, um, just along the lash line. Just the outer part of it because I want to put some gold on the inside. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with another flat definer brush and I'm going to pick up some of the yellows right here and just apply them all over the inner corner just as a base for my glitter shadow. in there so it's pretty dark. So I just picked up these Ulta Glitter Eye Top Shadows 
and this one is in Gold Digger, and I love the pigment on these. So, for glitters, I always just use my finger because I get the best color payoff. So I just take it on my ring finger, and I like to pack it on just so I don't lose any of that color. I'm just going to go back with this little brush. I wiped it off and everything. And I'm going to use the same gold glitter on the inner part of my lower lash line and the inside corner of my eye. The Rimmel London Soft Coal Liner in the color Jungle Green to line my lash line. I'm just going to do a little bit of liquid liner. Just so I don't look sickly. Okay, I'm just going to top it off with the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I'm just going to do a lot of coats of this. Okay, so we're done with the eyes. And I'm just going to go um, onto the face, just kind of color it up a little bit. So I'm going to be going in with the Lancome blush subtle 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 shimmer in the color shimmer mocha havana i'm just gonna use a little brush that comes in it okay now i'm just going to top it off with some lipstick so this is the ulta lip butter in the color Ravishing. I love how soft these are on the lips. And here's the final look. this video and I hope you have an even better holiday. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.